Hello guys, it is your girl Prissy and I'm back with another thrifting video. Today I am at the Salvation Army. I've brought you guys along here with me before and we found some amazing pieces. So I thought I would bring you guys back in here. I am looking for some fall items, whether that is home decor or some clothing pieces. I just wanna see what cool things I can find. So I don't have a list or anything in mind. I'm just going in the thrift store, walk around and see what I can find. So let's head in. Excuse me. Y'all have any sales today? Small What What is it, 50% off? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so 50% off the small blue tags. They have some Jaguar stuff, and I know my wife has been looking for a jersey. Who is this one? Jones Drew, I think she'll like this one. 549, she's gonna love it. Also gonna get Kingston one because they have a Jones Drew for the little guys. So I'm gonna get this for him. Bortles. Another Ramsey, Ramsey. And here's another Jones Drew. All right guys, I saw these and they are by Zara. There are some pleated palazzo pants and I really, really like them. So I think I'm gonna get these. They're only $6.49. They're a size medium, so hopefully I can fit them, but really, really like these. Well, these are cute. New York and Company. Some wide leg. I like these. They look too big for me, though. It says a medium, but we'll try these on. I think I need a small, but we'll see. These are too big for me. They're a size 10, but they are so cute. Wide leg, super cute. The vibe is massive, it's supernatural. Keep it factual, you know you're matching bad. Look at the way they hold they chat. Honestly amazing, I want you on occasion. I can do you favors that I know you won't do for yeah, yeah. I know what you want You got it gorgeous You bad, you're a target It's talking me nice Just ease it up on me I'm fighting the feeling I'm keeping it gorgeous yeah. I want you closer Whoa, whoa, whoa. They want $40 for this, y'all. This is nice. It's wool. It's brown. It looks like it is in such good condition. Look at that fur. This looks like it's real, too. I wonder if it's detachable. Now, that is the key. No, it's not detachable, but that's nice. Another nice wool coat. They have some really nice coats in here, y'all. Let me clear the air. I've made my mistakes. I've learned how to behave. I know I'm a stranger. All right, y'all. So I went through like the coats and blazers and stuff like that. So now I'm in the dress section. And I don't even know why I'm in this section because I don't be wearing my dresses like that. 
but I thought I'd just take a look. Just in case I find like some leather pieces or something. If I found like a leather dress, that would be cool. So not much over in this section either. I would have also loved to find like a sweater dress, but nothing that really caught my eye over here. Let me look through these dresses. Just to look through them, you never know what you could find. All right, so nothing in that section. I think now I'm gonna look through the men's blazers to see what I can find over there. So here are the blazers. I don't really see any colors that I want. Let's see what this one is to be. Okay, so I was looking at this one. I think it's really nice. Also half off because it's the blue tag. But then I saw a few stains right here and I don't know what this is. So I don't think I'm going to get it. So I don't think I'm seeing any blazers that I really, really need, especially like the print and the pattern and the colors. Mm, nothing's really like catching my attention. So I think I'm gonna move on. So I have made my way over to the furniture section. So I'm gonna look through this area really quickly and see if there's anything that like kind of jumps out at me or that I need this lamp is super cute it's saying it's sold as is though so I'm thinking something funky is going on with it but it's super cute like a little mushroom lamp so I don't know if it works So it seems like I overlooked the women's blazers altogether. So I'm about to go back through this and look through the women's blazer and see if they have a color that I don't have already. Could definitely use a pink one, but this one is more like a satin. It's a size 16 and it's like a two piece set.
They also have some leather jackets on this side. This is a Rockwear jacket, a leather one too. So no blazers, not on this side. So I'm gonna go on this side and check. Then I'm gonna head to the fitting room to try on those two pair of pants. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. All right, so I don't know if I feel like trying these on. That means I gotta take my jeans off, sneakers off. I don't know if I feel like doing all that. All right, guys, so I kind of slipped these on one leg and for me, I could tell they're already gonna be too big by just slipping them on that one leg and pulling them up. So I'm going to leave this pair, but I am gonna get this pair from Zara, this pleated pair, which is super cool. I think this would look so chic with like a black double-breasted blazer and some heels or some heel boots. You probably won't even be able to see your shoe because this is kind of long, but I like it. All right, guys, so I am done. Yeah. About to get in line. All right, guys, so I am out of the store. I purchased a couple things, um, mainly stuff for Babe, actually, and one pair of pants for me and I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. All right guys, so I just pulled up to Hubbard House Thrift Store. It actually closes in 20 minutes, so we need to run on and get in and see what we can find real quick. I think I may have brought you guys here once, but um, they don't normally have like a huge selection, but because I was in this area, I decided to just stop by, so let's go inside. <laughs> I'm stuck at the front of the store right now looking at stuff because they have stuff like as soon as you walk through the door. Oh my gosh, look at these glasses. These are super pretty. These are German white wine cups. And it looks like they are six for 50 bucks. Is that the right price, y'all? Is that the right price or? I'm not looking at the wrong thing, girl. Am I the wrong section? Yeah. Let me get up out this area right here, y'all, because these might be some little antique things. I don't know. Looking at the costumes right quick. When you go to a place of business, times people are attacked, robbed, and even murdered because the business they trust perfect for the fall right some businesses are business is so dim or not lit at all in hotels apartments and in-home services they close in about 10 minutes so let's take a peek at some stuff and see what we can find real quick it's furniture in the back so i think i'm gonna go look through the furniture because i don't know what i'm gonna do with these coats <laughs> it is still hot outside oh some leather super cute they're too small for me though see this might have been a good little table for me but I'm not paying $75 for it now I do like this isn't that beautiful y'all gorgeous buffet they want 600 for it and it says as is so it must be something kind of wrong with it but it's nice i like that this one isn't like my style but i really like it but it's a really nice buffet this one is 300 i also like this wall unit but i don't know if it's for sale but i like it 
So I don't know if I'll be buying anything out of this store, but it was nice to come in and look around. They are getting ready to close in a little bit. And I haven't seen anything that like really jumped out at me. So I doubt I'll be getting anything, but still wanted to bring you guys inside. And I'm gonna try to run through like some of the clothes real quick before they close that's cute i'm not getting it all right guys so i ended up not getting anything from that store i figured they wouldn't have anything um they rarely do that's why i don't really go to this one like i told you guys i did not walk out of the salvation army with much i was really hoping to get some home decor because normally they have some good pieces in there and i was kind of disappointed on wednesdays i know they have either 40 or 50 percent off their furniture so they may have gotten rid of a lot of things on wednesday because i did go on a friday so i picked up the jones drew jersey for king this is just something for him to wear around the house when they're watching the game just so he can also have some of the team logo and stuff like that i also thought i was picking this one up for babe but it is way too big for her so i'm going to i guess try to wear it around the house as a little dress but it kind of like it got a stain on it is that a stain y'all so this one probably gonna get tossed honestly look at that i didn't see that stain so she can't wear it anyway. I was gonna settle and wear it as a dress, but now that it has a stain on it, it can go. And the last item that I found is a pair of pleated palazzo pants from Zara. I really, really hope I can fit these because I didn't try them on. They're a size medium, and I probably could have used the small, but I hope this medium does work. They are supposed to be kind of like oversized and wide leg. They are supposed to be like that, but I really just hope they fit me in the waist. And like I said, guys, that is all that I picked up from the Salvation Army. However, you guys know that I did go on a couple other thrifting trips. I also went to the Goodwill with my cousin. You guys would have seen that video right here. I'll link it above if you haven't. So let me show you what I picked up on that thrifting trip. So the first item is this cutlery tray. Now it is a cutlery tray, but you do not have to use it for that. I was thinking about organizing my pens and pencils and stuff in here, or either putting it in a drawer for Kingston and having his pencils in here and colored pencils and stuff like that. Depending on how you store them, you could also put your, like your brushes and combs and stuff like that in here. Like you can store that in here and sit it down in a drawer. The possibilities are endless when it comes to organizing things. So I feel like this is definitely a multifunctional piece. I think I only paid about either $2.99 or $3.99 for this piece. Keeping in the theme of organization, I also picked up these three silver hooks. I got them for $3, so that is like a dollar each but they are really, really heavy and sturdy, which is one of the main reasons I purchased them is because of the weight. I feel like they'll just really hold whatever it is that needs to be held up. And I was also thinking about painting these black and using them in my wife's closet to kind of like organize her messenger bags or her backpacks and just things like that. So I think this will really, really come in handy. Y'all can hear this one from a mile away. I found these little genie pants in the thrift store and I was like, oh, I can be a genie for Halloween. So I went ahead and picked these up. I already have some extension hair so I can make my own little ponytail. I don't know what type of top I'm gonna wear. Listen, I don't even know where I'm going, okay? We're not giving out candy. We're not really going anywhere for Halloween, but I just kind of wanted to dress up. So I picked these up and hopefully I'll be able to find the rest of my costume or make it or whatever I have to do to get it together by Halloween. And the last item that I picked up from the Goodwill is this little small wooden stool. I thought it would be perfect to sit a plant on. So I'm gonna give the stool a mini makeover and just make it so that it fits in with the rest of my home decor. But I'm super excited to have it. 
And last but not least is the city thrift. You guys also went on this thrifting trip with me as well. I will also link that video in the cards above. So if you haven't seen it, please check that video out. So the first item that I picked up is something that I didn't need. I mean, everything that I picked up today, I probably didn't need it. I just wanted it. So this is a gold sleigh and I just thought it was so cute. It was only $1.99. So I was like, girl, why not just pick that up? It'll fit right in with any type of Christmas decor, whether your decor is more of the modern style or the traditional. I think this fits in with any of those styles. So love this little guy. I don't know why, but I have this strange addiction right now to candlesticks. I love candlesticks, candle holders, or just anything like that. So every time I see like a unique pair, I want to pick it up. I, I have to restrain myself from doing that, but I want to always pick them up and bring them home. And this pair was no exception. I think I paid about $250 to $350 for these. They were either half off or 40% off, but the original price was only $5 for this beautiful pair of candlestick holders of course it's getting a little bit of a makeover I think this brass and gold is just not my thing like that anymore however this is very muted and I kind of do like it so I don't know if I'm gonna change this one up or not like I'm really really torn I want to wipe them down and clean them up really good first before I make that decision and on the bottom it says they were made in Mexico so I really really like these so the last item that I picked up is a clothing piece I got it from the men's section and it is this hot pink button down and I thought it was so beautiful like I had to have it look at this color y'all I think my camera is washing it out but it is gorgeous there it is this is the true color it is so pretty it is by the brand apartment nine it is in a size extra large but i got it to wear with maybe like a bodysuit and some jeans or a bodysuit and some slim fitting pants and just have this oversized shirt on top i love that look with like an oversized button down pair with something that is more form fitting so that is probably how i'll be rocking this button down majority of the time it says 5.98 on the tag but i think the yellow ones were actually on sale that day if not six dollars is still a good price for this item i also wanted to thank you guys because i don't know if you guys noticed but there are over 25 thousand of us now so i am super excited and very happy to have all of you guys here and in the family so if you aren't subscribed to my channel be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload and as always i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye